morning children today in our gk class we will take up the lesson let's dress up every region in the world has its own unique costume so let's take a short journey around the world and see the beautiful and traditional dresses in the world let's start with japan the traditional dress of japan is kimono the couple in the picture are wearing kimonos and the traditional footwear is get up with split toe socks now let's take a look at the traditional dress of china it is called chongsam the two girls in the picture are wearing it it is a tight fitting dress with a high neck and closed collar next is the traditional dress of scotland known as kilt the man in the picture is wearing a knee length kilt made of tartan and the lady is wearing a skirt and a shawl made of tartan both of them are wearing the footwear called gilly brogues next is the traditional dress of korea known as hanbok the chigori is the upper garment of the hanbok it is worn both by men and women men usually wear the chigori with a paji and the women wear the chigori with a chima or a skirt now let's take a look at the traditional dress of india the traditional dress for a lady is a sari and the traditional dress for a male is a kurta and a dhoti next is the russian traditional dress called sarafan it is a long embroidered dress as you can see the lady in the picture is wearing the headdress is called kokosnik and the traditional footwear is called valanki made out of wool and the last is the traditional dress of saudi arabia the women wear the abaya and the men wear the thob on the head they wear a gutra and an eagle so you see how colorful and attractive each of these dresses are it is but natural that they take pride in wearing them our next lesson is states and union territories our country india is divided into 28 states and 8 union territories let's look at the states and union territories and their capitals andhra pradesh hyderabad arunachal pradesh itanagar assam dispur bihar patna chatisgarh Raipur Goa Panaji Gujarat Gandhinagar Haryana Chandigarh Himachal Pradesh Shimla Jharkhand Ranchi Karnataka Bengaluru Kerala Tiruvananthapuram Madhya Pradesh Bhopal Maharashtra Mumbai Manipur Imphal Meghalaya Shillong Mizoram Aizawl Nagaland Kohima Odisha Bhubaneswar Punjab Chandigarh Rajasthan Jaipur Sikkim Gangtok Tamil Nadu Chennai Telangana Hyderabad Tripura Agartala Uttar Pradesh Lucknow Uttarakhand Dehradun West 
Bengal, Kolkata. Now the Union Territories of India and their capitals. Delhi, New Delhi. Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar. Puducherry, Pondicherry. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Port Blair. Chandigarh, Chandigarh. Dadar and Nagar, Haveli and Daman and Dew, Daman. Lakshwadi, Kavarati. Ladakh, Leh. Our next lesson is, what am I? This lesson is all about leaves which can be grown commonly in our garden. Here are some clues. Let's see what leaves they refer to. Number one. Some people worship me and use me to treat cough and cold. What am I? I am the stock of holy basil, commonly known as tulsi. Number two, I am used for garnishing dishes. Garnishing means decorating the dishes and making chutney. I am a stock of coriander leaves. Coriander leaves, commonly known as dhanya patta. Number three, I am a herb with a distinctive smell. My leaves are used to add flavor to food and drinks like lemonade. What am I? I am the stock of mint leaves, commonly known as pudina. Number four, I am large and waterproof. I can be used for cooking and wrapping food. In the past, I was used as a writing sheet. What am I? I am a banana leaf. Number five. I am used as a cure for various skin diseases. I also help in keeping pests away. Can you guess my name? I am a stock of neem leaves. With that, we come to the end of this lesson. Worksheets related to these lessons will be uploaded on your school website soon. Thank you. Have a good day.